Well, ladies, I, I guess the best way to start this is, you know, last season it seemed like, like the ladies in this show had purpose, they had things to do, and it was always undercut by the guys. I mean, you were like a deadly assassin who just kind of gets like, oh, Dirk just threw a plan appeal into it, what's happening? Oil my plan, Dirk. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think that kind of continues in season two, like, Absolutely. definitely, I like that, women with purpose, that, that definitely continues into this season. I think last season, you know, we ended with Dirk getting kidnapped and Todd having a parabibulitis attack for real and um, Farah again goes into that attack mode okay gotta save the world what do we do guys and she kind of does a 180 instead of being this like you know by the book kind of superhero she um, breaks all the rules she's a full on criminal this time but all in an effort to find Dirk and save the world so. yeah I'm glad you bring that up because um, I don't know if you, have you heard of the Bechdel test no it's the test um, for film and television that says if you have two characters that are female in a show and they're talking to each other, they have to have a scene where they're not talking to each other about a boy or a guy that they like. And surprisingly, most things don't pass that test because women on shows and movies are always talking about their love interest and that's where they exist and they don't have other purpose outside of it. So I'm really glad you said that. And Max passes that test with flying colors. I don't think I've ever had a scene where I'm talking about a boy. And if I am, it's like, how can I beat him up and destroy him. Um, and look, I love I love guys. I'm not hating on guys, but it is nice and refreshing to feel like we have our own lives and we have our own purpose, like you said. Now, uh, practicing for, I guess, your disease where you're like, I'm on fire, where you're like practicing, I mean, did you have a friend throw it and it's like, oh, you're on fire. Okay, now puppies are on top of you. All right, now this yeah. is happening. You're underwater. What's it? Like? It's funny you say that, actually, because last year before we started shooting, I like would take a bath full of ice to be like freezing to see what that would feel like. I was trying to be all method, you know, Daniel day lewis or something. Wow, um, method. You know, I'm just no, trying so to try it out. It was like a good thing to prep for. Exactly. Um, and then um, and then he started lighting me on fire and having me electrocuted. And I'm like, I stop at the ice. I can't, I literally, I can't. So I was just watching teenagers on YouTube light themselves on fire and watching how they reacted. Um, do that. I'm glad I'm you not, didn't do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go that far. You're better than that, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, can you tell me, uh, where do we start with your characters this season? Where do we find them when we start? Well, Amanda is full rowdy three this season, hence, uh, hence the shave. What's right. up? Um, so the, she's really What's the up? yeah, <laughs> she's really the opposite of what she was last year. Last year she was so afraid and stuck in her house, and this year she's out in the world and kicking ass and and um, you know really um, feeling empowered and feeling like she doesn't need anyone now that she doesn't have Todd. Oh, it's my turn. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, yeah, right. Um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of like what I was saying before. I feel like there's this season, uh, Farrah actually finds her way to a nice, wonderful new town in the middle of Montana called Bergsburg. Get into it. It's uh, from the mind of Max Landis. Great name. Um, and she goes there in search of Dirk. Uh, you know, I think what was interesting about last season is you know Dirk is so very much about letting the universe guide you and Farah and Todd are you know in trying to find him I think Todd is on that mind frame and Farah kind of is too because maybe she's kind of convinced about Dirk and his skills and abilities but she basically says no I have to use by any means yet necessary basically to find him and so that's that's kind of how Farah jumps off season two.